Hey Brick Maniacs, welcome back to another fully vaccinated Friday sit rep. We're excited to be here. Uh, we got some awesome pre-orders as well as some new releases that are still available on BrickMania.com and a new minifig nice. continuing to fill out that uh, digital instructions uh, uh, wants and needs. Um, but first things first, let's head over into the design room to hear a little bit more about the Hawker Typhoon uh, and the Sermon Firefly VC. Hey Brick Maniacs, we are checking in with Nate. You know him yeah. as Sergeant Nate on Instagram. We're taking a look at another Comrade Katia build. This is the Sherman Firefly. Nate, tell me a little bit more about the model that we're looking at here. Okay, so this right here specifically is the Sherman Firefly VC. Mm -hmm. VC is kind of how British number stuffs. Uh, it's actually, oh, it's also known as, like this is based off of the M4A4 chassis, which is mm -hmm. just, this ch chassis, but slightly longer. Okay. Americans didn't like the A4 chassis, but every one they gave liked it, so. Fair enough. And the Britons uh, put a giant 17-pounder cannon on there. Mm -hmm. uh, this is me. No, go away. Okay. Um, after this build itself, there's a lot to it. So you got this this uh, clever candlestick barrel, because this will be printed. It's going to have, like... Like a lot of the fireflies, the Germans knew how powerful they were. Right, pretty iconic camouflage to try to uh, to right. disguise that gun. Yeah, so um, this top part will be printed gray, and and the bottom part of this muzzle brake will be printed white so it properly blends. Nice. Uh, hatch opens up like usual. Got new little round pieces to make it look more like a hatch. Absolutely. Uh, there is going to be a very questionable amount of printing on this. Yes, I, you can just tell by the crate configuration we got going on the back here that we yeah, are looking like, forward to a lot of that. These are crates for grenades. This is an ammo crate. This is a banana crate. Uh, this is a tea crate. And nice, a little preview. Yeah, there's also a ton of references on this because Katya said I could have free reign over all the stickers, details, and whatnot. <laughs> so here's a preview of that. Very, very cool. Excited to see that. Obviously, this model is still in prototype phase, but we are inching ever closer to the completed product. Probably one that you're pretty excited to see, huh? Uh, yeah. Um, well, first of all, let me show off this little engine bit. Yeah, she sure. explicitly wanted me to show this. Uh, there's also a the hatch doors. You can open this bottom hatch. Mm -hmm. like, to take the engine out, you kind of have to take off everything. And, well, but to be fair, it's supposed to be in there. Anytime you get to see a brick build engine, though, that's going to have uh, printing featured on it, that's a pretty exciting thing to see. Yeah, and she also, like, like she, like, there, this kind of had a bit of a build problem, but she actually came up with a way to make this, like, properly work. Mm hmm. Because um, I actually helped out with this, because I was helping her with this prototype design about, like, three weeks before Dan offered me the job. Mm hmm. So I spent a good six to eight hours kind of proofreading this while helping her after she submitted it. This is like, I had the idea of like putting the Brodies all over the place, that looked good. Sure. And uh, it will come with two minifigs actually. There will be a commander and a driver. Like, oh, well, where's the room for the minifig? Boom, interior. Nice, look at that, you it's can kinda, see down in there. kind of teeny, but you can definitely put a guy in there. I very, very taking cool. I the hat because this kind of contracts, but it's So, works. a ton of play features. Not only are we looking forward to a whole bunch of printing, but also, as you can see, by the way, Nate's disassembled it here. You pretty much have free reign to be able to do whatever you want. And then, like I said, that brick-built engine. Very, very exciting. So, oh. there you have it. Oop. Sherman Firefly, what else you got for me? Oh, also, if you don't want to have a Firefly for whatever reason... You can just have it be a regular Sherman A4A4. A4. Look at that. And, again, you can do whatever you want with this thing. Mm -hmm. That's We love the versatility in the sticker sheet. Very, very excited to see. Well done, Nate. Well done, Comrade Katya. Thank you once again for this on pre-order right now on BrickMania.com. Nate, thanks for checking in, man. See ya. All right, so we're once again checking in with Dan Siskin because we got an awesome pre-order bundle available here. So obviously the eye-catching portion of this is the Hawker Typhoon, but we also have an RAF bomb cart tractor going on here. So tell us a little bit more about what we're looking at, Dan. Well, Hawker Typhoon, this is this is from Nicholas Kramer. Let's get these okay. guns out. They, they do have a little bit of a oh, dihedral okay. to them. Yeah. So Nicholas Kramer, uh, NK Custom Bricks uh, mm -hmm. founder. Uh, this is a model that he created for us. Uh, you're seeing without the, the, the stickers on it. There, there will right. be stickers. So there's, some, there's, some, there's some printing in this as well, but we, we decided because there's so much cross-element uh, shenanigans going on, we, yeah, there, sure, there that are going to be some, some stickers, uh, a lot of printed elements as well. So. Very, very um, cool. But it's, it's a great model. It's very heavy. <laughs> it's very well built. It's, it's a big sturdy. plane with a gnarly-looking armament, too. Right, My right. goodness. So the, the Hawker Typh Typhoon, I mean, it later evolved into Hawker Tempest. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was meant to be a replacement for the... Um, 
the Hurricane. Okay. And, you know, even as the Hurricane was going into production, they were already developing the next model. Mm -hmm. This was supposed to be a high-altitude fighter, and they ended up using it mainly as a ground attack craft because it was just, it's so rugged, it could carry sure. such a huge payload. Um, originally, it was it was cleared to have two 500-pound bombs on it, mm -hmm. and eventually they uh, they jacked that up to 2,000 pounds. You know, wow. Two, a pair of 1,000-pound right, right. bombs, yeah. So that's that's the Typhoon right now. It, it comes... The kit itself comes with the uh, the tulip rockets on it, mm -hmm. so you get eight rockets total. Uh, in addition, <laughs> Looks to the, so the thing's good. armed with, with twenty millimeter cannons. It's it's armed to the teeth. This is what the Germans in um, Western Europe feared the most. Okay. So if you're driving an armored vehicle, this is what you didn't want to see. And if you drive around <laughs> during the daylight daylight hours, chances are you'd be you'd you're be smoked. <laughs> yeah, like if a, if a Tiger tank was rolling down the down the road. The guys in the Shermans didn't even bother trying to engage it. They just called in the Typhoon sure. to take care of it. Sure. Wow, that means it was very, very effective. Right. These things were hovering around. They're just orbiting mm -hmm. on patrol, and then they would be, you know, they'd get a radio call. Hey, this, there's a tank coming. And off they go. Yep, yep. And then it'd be gone. <laughs> yeah, you can see those 20 millimeter cannons in, in brick built form there. I love the colors on this the dark green, the invasion stripes, even the yellow along the wings. I mean, there's yeah. a lot to love about the look of very, this model. Very iconic. I mean, this is a British, British, British aircraft. It's mm -hmm. RAF uh, colors all the way, late war markings. ETO, so uh, very, very uh, eye-catching. Yeah, absolutely, and a really, really cool-looking crew. It's super order. sturdy. I mean, you, you, mm -hmm. you know, it, it's very, you know it, the plane is big enough that we can do, like, some, some pretty heavy-duty builds on it, and mm -hmm. Nick really took advantage of that. So, nice. Or Nicholas, I'd say. Well done, NK Customs. Now, the cool thing about this, too, is that we are going to do a little bit of a bundle here because this is the RAF uh, tractor and bomb cart right. that will be available standalone uh, upon its release date. But because we figured there were quite a few people who wanted to get on the Hawker Typhoon and pick up their bomb cart, we are going to offer it as an optional bundle. Yep, that's correct. So the, the bomb cart, this was designed by Simon Jones. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he actually had a starter cart. We're like, okay, we're gonna we're gonna cap it. We, we had a cap a number of parts. It didn't all make it into the thing. So sure. for the future, we may have this the starter. Uh, it's an engine starter truck, mm -hmm. a trailer actually. Uh, but we did do the tractor, and you get two thousand pound bombs with it. So Sweet. You, you'll have to take off your, uh, your 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 tulip rockets in order to put the bombs on. Mm -hmm. It would be one on each, under each wing, but which makes sense. It does give you the option. You know, you could always change the cart so it's hauling around the rockets too. So. Yeah, we'll come with a cool little area crew. Yeah, there is an RAF ground crew. crew mm -hmm. that's, of course, since we don't have any of the printed parts, we can't show you. Right, fully fully in prototype phase. But as you can yep. see right here, this is a pretty cool little bundle. It's pretty much a mock almost ready to go, oh, yeah. you know, prepping up for D-Day, etc. So a really, really popular uh, uh, bundle, I'm thinking, is what it will be. So we're looking yep. forward to seeing it, obviously, when it's all finished and printed. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be awesome. Very, very cool. Well, Dan, thank you very much for checking in. Go pick up your Hawker Typhoon. Okay, so like we were talking about with the Hawker Typhoon, you get an opportunity here to pretty much have a mock just like ready to show up at your door. Because you can get this bomb cart, bomb tractor. I wonder how many of these bombs you can have in a giant. Included with, frame. yeah, just continue to build them. Depends on how powerful the tractor is, I suppose. But still, kind of a cool little mock, pretty much ready to go right there between the, uh, the Typhoon and the bomb cart. You know, you're, you got your RAF field as you're loading up for D-Day and ready to go hit the beaches. So this is gonna come with a, uh, with a cool minifig. Um, with the bomb cart, actually, it was. Uh, oh yeah, we don't have that printed yet. No, right. All, all still prototype stuff as well. So that'll be a fun little addition that uh, you know will be released standalone, like we were saying. Um, but otherwise, is going to be exclusively available pre-order with the Typhoon, and then if there's any left over, we'll release uh, come the Typhoon shipping date. But man, I really, really am digging the colors on this thing, and then the armament is just dangerous it's looking, bristling. Yes, quite well, first, literally. Yeah, those invasion stripes just really make any sort of uh, aircraft look mm -hmm. just really menacing, you know. Splash that dark green. Yeah, we'll get a top-down view of that. Brick-built tail insignia. The yellow front. I mean, yeah, there's just a lot lot of color, a lot to like about this aircraft. Even on the bottom side. And it is deceivingly large. It is It is a big, I mean, look at it next to the next to the Firefly. Is you know, you, if, you, if you people know the uh, the size of our of our Sherman tanks, that typical scale, you can see that it's I mean, it is a large, large yeah. aircraft. It's cool. So very, very cool. Let's just go ahead and segue right into that uh, sure. to that Sherman there, huh? There we go. So you guys met Nate. He was the project manager on this bad boy. Very, very excited to see it when it yeah. comes into its complete form. A um, lot, a lot of cool printing going on this thing. Mm -hmm. And then, like we always say, I love the tanks that look like they've they're in country, you know. Yeah. And clearly, this one is set up to look that way. Yeah, Nate does a good job. He's been working at the store for quite a while, and. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it was always cool to see him kind of customize some of our the mo of the the models, mm -hmm. and this is kind of now bringing a lot of that to uh, into a kit form actually. So mm -hmm. 
it's a nice progression. Yeah, absolutely. Very, very cool end result as well. Excited to see the uh, the final model. Like we said, mm -hmm. make sure you check out the uh, the web page so you can see this in all of its printed and minifigged glory. Yep. Available right now on BrickMini.com. Like we were saying, we also have a couple of new releases that are still still available and ready to ship. This is the Spirit of St. Louis, and then we have the uh, Swordfish sitting next to it, and then also the Bismarck is available as well. That one, the printing just getting all finished up, etc. So it's ready to head out the door. But uh, yeah, pretty good week. Yeah, yeah. There's been like we've been ramping up the amount of printing on all on all the kits across mm -hmm. the board. Um, so it's like. like there aren't really any exceptions here. So. Right, exactly. And speaking of printing, we have a brand new printed minifigure. Yeah. The Italian tanker. Yeah. Let's show them off. Let's do it. Yeah. Uh, right here. Right here, man. Um, leather jacket. Um, texture printed mustache. I'm not making this <laughs> stuff up. The source, the source images I could find. Of History the, speaks for itself. Of the of the crews driving this thing. <laughs> These guys are rocking some cool mustaches. Um, some, uh, probably a tanker jumpsuit underneath of that and some oops, desert uh, combat boots going on there. But then we also have our uh, brand new uh, combat vehicle crew helmet. Um, this is the one color version. Uh, I think it really kind of ties in, ties it all together to really nail in um, that look of the Italian tanker. Yeah, I think so as well. I like the, the two-tone colors, the, yeah. the slick looking black jacket, and then obviously those, those tanker helmets have really just been pushing that, that upgrade. So very, very cool. Remember the Ariette is available at uh, for uh, digital download, got sticker pack, etc. Um, so make sure to load your guys up and, and crew your vehicles with the brand new Italian Tanker V2. Yeah. Yeah. It's quite a release week, huh? <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty excited for it. We got a couple of notes to cover here. Um, so the next Brick Mania sale is gonna be retail exclusive. It's gonna be Memorial Day weekend. So that is the uh, 28th through the 31st of May. Um, there'll be a 10% off discount for veterans and veterans' families, and also if you show a completed COVID-19 vaccination card. Um, that sale will supersede the previously available 5% discounts at that level, um, and so we're going to just make it a 10% for both for everyone who qualifies. Um, however, the plank owner discounts will still stack, so you can get that um, additional discount as long as you, you bring your your plank owner stuff. Um, there will be some reseller exclusions, etc., that it'll apply, but you know it'll 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 be uh, on all the Brick Mania stuff that is available in stores as well. So, just uh, if you have any questions when you show up there, ask your associate for details. They can provide all of that information. But remember, the 28th through the 30, 31st, 10 percent off in all Brick Mania retail stores. So, plan your trip, take advantage of that, and we're hitting the road pretty quick here. Yeah. Where are we going? Time is winding down. We're heading all over the place, actually, from Brick Fair to Brick Days to EAA to, I mean, yeah, we're, we're going all over the place and hopefully continuing to expand that list. Make sure to check back in on uh, BrickManiaToys.com. That's our blog. That's where we'll post all that event stuff. Otherwise, if you go to the info section on the website, there should be an events tab there as well that'll, that'll help redirect you to that. So, but some cool stuff on the horizon. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, catch us out on the road. Yeah. That'll be fun. It will be. Yeah, that's one of the things I've been looking forward to the most with uh, kind of the uh, the lightening up of uh, COVID-19 is just like, let's mm -hmm. get back out there and go to some conventions and uh, let's have some fun. Yeah, see some people, see some cool Lego stuff and cool military stuff. So Tank Farm, that's another one we're hoping to get to. There's going to be some awesome stuff going on there. So we're really, really excited. Make sure to check out that events page. page plan your trip and meet us out on the road because it's going to be super fun. That's all I got. That's all we got, yeah. Okay, cool. We'll see you on Monday. <laughs>